you are in the 1% of mothers that would not go to their child if someone had tried to murder them. What would you like for her to do that she isn't doing? You see, there's a point at which you have to stop complaining and start specifically asking for what you want. What is it you want her to do that she's not doing? I want her to support me and understand that I need help. I okay. need, I'm Be specific. Define support. What is it you want her to do behaviorally that she is not doing for you now? I want her to listen to me. I want her to, when I talk to her, I want her to listen to me and understand what I'm going through. And I want her to, if I need to go through any type of therapy or anything like that, I want her to be by my side. Mm -hmm. I want her to hug me. I want her to look at me and, and understand deeply that I, what I'm going through and that I'm not being dramatic about it. Mm -hmm. Well, you're pretty dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> you can get pretty dramatic. Yeah. Uh, you know, you but, yell and scream and get animated, which is not any way to communicate. So you are pretty dramatic. Yes. Listen, I believe very strongly that perception is reality. Even if someone is, and I'm not describing you now, I'm talking generally speaking, even if somebody is completely delusional, you know, that somebody's after them or following them or whatever, if they believe that, I mean, if, if they really embrace that, that's their reality. It's, it's real for them, mm -hmm. just as sure as me sitting in this chair is real to you right now. Mm -hmm. It's real to them. If her perception is that she's not loved and valued, then we have to help disabuse her of that perception, right? Right. There's no question in my mind that a part of you blames her for this because she recklessly put herself in harm's way. Yes. And I, I get that. We can't change that. I, I do think you've been traumatized by this. I don't know if you have PTSD. Uh, I don't know if you just have an anxiety condition pursuant to this this traumatic attack, which would be very, very common among victims of violence. Um, and I can see it and hear it in your voice, wiping away the dramatic expression. I still see and hear it in your voice. Um, and that's never been attended to, and I think it needs to be attended to. I think you need help with that. And when you say, I, I, need, I need to know that they're there for me and supporting me, um, I think you feel very alone right now, and that's one of the things that sometimes people experiencing anxiety and depression feel, is they feel a lot of loneliness, and they feel disconnected from the rest of the family. And part of that, they can help. Part of it is professional help, and I'm gonna arrange that for you.